So today we are going to be looking at the Linux file system and first things we must navigate to the root directory which is the top directory in the file system hierarchy and it contains all the files so let's begin. So the first one is the bin or the binaries. This directory holds the Linux binaries like the ls command that we executed earlier. Then we have the sbin or the system binaries. This directory contains the system binary files that serve as administrative commands like the fdisk. Next you have the boot. This directory contains the Linux bootloader files. Then you have the dev or the devices. This directory contains the device configuration files, e.g. the dev forward slash null. Then you also have the sys or the system which is similar to the dev. This contains the configuration files about the devices and the drivers. etc. This directory contains all the administration system files, e.g. the etsy slash password shows all the system users in Kali. Then you also have the lib or the libraries. This directory contains the shared libraries for the binaries inside the bin and the sbin directories. Then you also have the proc or the processes. This directory holds all the processes and the kernel information files. You have the lost plus found. This directory contains the files that have been recovered. So far we have not recovered any, so you might not see any. Then you also have the MNT or the mount. This directory contains the mounted directories. Next you have the media and this contains the removable media mounted directories. Next you have the opt or the option. This directory is used for the additional software packages. Also installing software by users. Next you have the temp or the temporary. This is a temporary folder used temporarily and the contents are normally wiped out after each reboot or when you restart your machine. The temp folder is a good place to download your tools for privileged escalation. We also have the USR, binaries, libraries, documentation and source code for the system. Next we have the home directory. This is the home for Kali Linux users. For example, a user called John may be stored in home slash john. Next you have the root directory, which is the root user home directory. Then you also have the sav or the srv. This is the folder that holds some data related to system server functionalities. For example, the data for FTP servers is contained here. You also have the var or the variable. This folder holds variable data for databases, logs, and also websites. For example, in the www slash html this contains the files for the apache web server next you also have the run of the runtime and this final directory here contains the runtime system data for example the currently logged in users are found here if you've watched up to this point remember to smash the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for future viewers